Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and year number 8 of the Montreal Canadiens franchise mode in NHL 20. Still looking for our first Stanley Cup. In the past couple episodes, we went through the offseason, re-signing a couple of key pieces including Marco Unila and uh, our goaltender Samsonov. Unfortunately, we did lose out to the Boston Bruins in the Stanley Cup playoffs in round number 2. It was quite a mismatch on paper. Our team was much better, but the Bruins found a way to win. Our bottom six is looking a bit different. The top six is pretty much the same with even higher ratings. So we have Drysdale at 96, Caulfield and Wong. With the plus one chemistry, Drysdale is in 97, Caulfield in 93, Wong in 92. Second line with the chemistry, Kukaniemi is in 95 overall, right in 91, Unila in 90. So our entire top six is 90 plus overall. That's incredible. Bottom six is a bit weaker, but it can still get the job done. We have an Arizona Coyotes connection here. Lawson Krause, Max Domi, and Connor Garland. Uh, they've all played in Arizona or are currently playing in Arizona this year. So uh, all these three guys. Then Gallagher, Dano, and Maron uh, are line number four. Uh, so looking at the fours, we're going to start in the franchise mode. Uh, there's only five guys that are there from the start. Caulfield, Cut, Kanyemi, Domi, Dano, and Gallagher. Uh, defense, nobody at the defense was there at the beginning. It's all different from the start. Byron Bouchard with the chemistry, 87 and 85. Churchrin and Soderstrom, another Coyotes connection, 86 and 87. Then Axel Anderson and Mario Mackey, 78 and 81 on pairing number three. And in goal, of course, Marcus Samsonov, 88 overall elite goaltender at 25 years old. Maxim Lapointe, minimally potential, 77 overall at 21, backing him up. Taking a quick look at the special teams, this is a power play which is pretty stacked. Caulfield, Wong, Kakanyemi, Wright, and Dreisaitl. Then we got Kraus, Domi, Garland, again, Coyote's connection. I always like to have these kind of storylines or connections in the game. They actually have a plus three chemistry, which is fantastic. Then Bouchard, Unala at the point. Penalty kill, Dano, Wright are going to be the center. So uh, Shane Wright does have pretty good defensive stats. And Philip Dano as well with that 90 faceoff. I would like to put Gallagher in unit number one. It would give them a plus three, but it gives a minus three to unit number two. I just couldn't find a way to get around that. So it's going to have to do. Over in Laval, our team is actually stacked. Uh, they have won the Calder Cup throughout their franchise mode. Wheel of Fitzpatrick, Walmart. Malgin for his back across in Marcotti. Yeah, follow Verbeek, Fonsad, and Bogvie, Demo, Evans. So a lot of 70s, a lot of 80 overalls. Then Aho, Norlander, Fairbrother, Marino, Lindgren, Henry. And in goal, uh, it's not the greatest goaltender, but he can get the job done. He's 76 overall, it's not bad. Reed Bits, he's 25, only has fringe charter potential, but uh, moved up Lapointe to the NHL to be our backup to hopefully uh, get up in rating. Uh, so we're all set to go for the 2026-2027 season, starting it off against the Tampa Bay Lightning in Tampa to begin the year in sunny Florida. Here we go, looking for another crazy year. I want to see crazy point totals again. I want to see multiple 50 goal scores, multiple 100 point scores. Let's get into it. Period number one. It's actually one nothing. Radish scores for them on Samsonov to start off the game after two, three to two. Stamkos and Foot, Domi and Caulfield get goals for us. To simulate the third period. Hopefully start off the year in the right note. We have a power play and there it is. Lawson Cross on the power play in his first game as a Montreal Canadian. There you go. The former Arizona Coyote. 30 shots to 24. 33 shots. Vasilevsky is keeping them in the game. Can we get a late goal? It looks like this is going to overtime. Uh, it's going to slow him the OT. Uh, see who is the OT hero. If it goes to a shootout. I'll just go in the game and I guess we're going into a shootout to start off the year. As you guys can see, we actually have 100 offense, 89 defense, 84 goaltending, which is a bit low, I think, because maybe our backup, but still extremely good. Let's get into the shootout. Starting it off, it's number 30. I believe that's dry saddle, if I'm not mistaken. Some of the numbers have changed. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but here's Nikita Kucherov coming in on Samsonov. And he roots it. Samsonov is actually a lefty. I didn't realize that. Here's Cole Caulfield coming in with that great shot. 
And he does the toe drag. A bit of a dead sook in there, but he goes back to the backhand. Here it comes Braden pointing on Samsonov. Samsonov with a big poke check. We can put the pressure with a goal. Here's Trevor Wong, number 35. And oh my goodness, he had Vasilevsky's left side open, but he went back to the backhand. Here's Radish, who had the first goal of the game. And he wins it for Tampa Bay with a nice backhand move there. Wow, so we dropped game number one. We actually had 39 shots. Vasilevsky, not even one of the three stars. He made a lot of saves in that game. Made 36 saves, but just not enough. They went in a shootout. We do get a point at least, but got to bounce back in game number two. And let's see who we're playing. It's going to be the Toronto Maple Leafs. They got to slow sim this one too. I always like to slow sim these rival games. We actually have a couple of games against the Bruins. Uh, later on after the end of this month so coming into toronto let's get a win against our rivals here we go period number one three and nothing how's it going toronto trevor wong with back-to-back -back power play goals and then dry sidle three power play goals in two minutes that's how you show up period number two five nothing cut ganyemi and domi let's finish it off strong five to one we don't get the shutout but a convincing win against a rival Toronto. Indiscipline cost him. We took advantage of all those penalties. A big start to the season there. The big win against the Leafs. Going to simulate up to the Bruins game here. Playing uh, against the Rangers. Home opener. 5-3 to three win. 10 goals in 2 games. Playing against the Knights. We actually dropped that one. Win against the Stars. I would love to see at least 50 wins. Now, I know our bottom six is in the greatest. Our bottom defensive pairing is in the greatest. But our top six and uh, the top four defensemen are <laughs> unreal. I mean, we have four 90 overalls. We get offered Mika Zibanejad. Okay, all right. So, they want Churchin, which is one of our best defensemen. But let's see what his rating is. 87 overall. He is a 33. Uh, 7.3 million for three years. Oh, loves the Benajad, but Churchin is really important for a defense core. 86 overall. Benajad will make a lot of money. But, uh, I mean, Churchin, uh, the contracts are pretty similar. But I, I I can't really give up one of our key top four defensemen for a centerman. Our centers are pretty good right now. Uh, round one and a first rounder and a prospect. going to say no. Actually, lose in OT against the Leafs. We're only 3-2-2. Two, and two. It's not a fantastic start. We lose against the Avalanche. We're actually at 500 right now. Playing against Connor McDavid, Dreisaitl's old team, and we beat them 5-3. 4-1 win against the Ducks. So we get a couple of wins in a row. I will have to keep it going. A home and home. Two games in three nights against the Boston Bruins. And then we play the Ottawa Senators. So three rival games in a row. These are extremely important to win. We get a goal. Antoine Maron scores and Mackenzie Blackwood after two. Tory Crew, Marco Unala score for us. Let's see if we can get a revenge from the playoffs of last year. 28 and 19 are the shots. We're shooting him like crazy. Blackwood is playing very good in net. 30 saves so far. And we're holding on to a 1 0 lead, but Evan Bouchard is going to get a big goal. Power play marker. Our defensive. A big goal from the back end on the power play, and that will be enough. We actually get a goal. Brandon Gallagher with 19 seconds left. Big win against the Boston Bruins. That's three wins in a row. Got to simulate. This is a big week. Bruins, Senators, McDavid. Hopefully, you can get at least three out of four wins this week. Game number one against the Bruins. Two was shootout win. There you go. Then a 7 to 5 loss against the Senators. That one hurts. 6 2 win against the Blue Jackets. We bounce back. Playing at the Oilers again. 5 4 shootout win. All right. So we're starting to get some wins. We're 9 4 and 2. We were uh, 3 3 and 2. So we actually won 6 and only lost 1 in our past 7. We always seem to lose against the Ottawa Senators. I don't know what it is. They beat us in the playoffs. 8 to 3 win against the Detroit Red Wings. We're 10 5 and 2. 5 games over 500. Let's keep this going. The boys are playing very good hockey. 7 and 2 against the Sabres. 15 goals in 2 games. Uh, oh, a big trade. Jordan Cairo and a couple of picks for Tory Krug. 88 overall. He goes to St. Louis. In my Alani Navigators franchise mode, I was offered Capo Caco for Tory Krug straight up. 10-4 win against the Minnesota Wild. 
Oh my god, I gotta go see if uh, what the points were for that game. But yeah, Tori Crew, we traded him for Kako, and Kako ended up being one of our best players. Ended up going to, I think, 90 overall. Caulfield, 19 goals in 22 games. Almost a goal per game. Never mind a point per game. Uh, I'm going to take a quick look if there's any notes of our game against the Wild for the Canadians. Um, 10 to 4. Leon Dreisaitl with 4 points. He had a hat trick. So he had 3 goals and 1 assist. I mean, uh, a couple of years ago, Dreisaitl, uh, I believe that was last season, he had 6 goals in 1 game against the Florida Panthers. And Trevor Wong had like 8 points. That was insane. And we're actually first in the division with... Uh, Forgot to see how many points that was. We see so in twenty eight. We're actually first in the division right now, so things are looking good after the uh, shaky start we had. Let's keep it going. Couple of games against uh, New York. Lose one, we win one. We have thirty one points. Um, very close division, of course. So three games in a row against the Islanders and Rangers. We win nine to five. Oh my goodness! Two games in two weeks that we score at least nine goals. You know what I gotta do? I gotta check out the points. Uh, 34 points and 23 goals for Caulfield. Again, we gotta go see the news here. See um, how our team did. So I'm gonna go down to... Uh, okay, there. The Canadians win. The Canadians win. The Canadians win. No, that's not our game against the Islanders. That's our game against the Kings. Uh, Trevor Wong. Four points for Wong. The Islanders had a five-goal lead. You gotta be joking. They were leading 5 to nothing, and we won 9 to 5. We scored 9 unanswered goals against the Islanders. Oh my goodness, that coach may not last a year. That is crazy. Imagine blowing a 5 nothing lead and lose 9 to 5. Sorry, New York. So we actually have a couple of games against the Panthers there. A couple of games against the Predators. All right, a couple of games against the Penguins. So we're going to sell it up to January, up to the new year, up to 2027. Got to keep the wins going. We can't just have a hot start and not follow up. Oh, Alexander Hovindov. Oh my, if you guys don't know, I'm a big Wildcats fan. My hometown team and Hovindov is one of my favorite players on the team. 79 overall at 26. Listen as a playmaker. Uh, pretty good shot, actually. Let's see his stats. I believe he was playing with the Iowa Wild. Uh, 67 points in 76 games last year. Looks like he hasn't even played this year. As guys you see at the bottom screen there in Moncton. Uh, so in the simulation in 2019-2020, had 84 points, 40 goals. In real life, guys, he had 99 points. If the season wasn't cut short, he would have had 100. He had a point streak of, I think, 15 or 16 games in a row. So he was going to get 100 points for sure. He would have been the only player apart from Lafreniere with 100 points. But the season was cut short. He is incredible, guys. He's a Russian wild prospect in real life, as guys can see. We get offered him in two seconds for Maron, who's an 82, only 10 points. Radilov, who is a prospect. I got to make that move, guys. Welcome to the team, Wildcats legend, Alexander Hoffenov. Let's go. We actually get two seconds in that as well. I'm pumped about that trade. Of course, we're going to bring Hoffenov up. He's going to be on the third or fourth line. I'm going to see where I can put him. Probably the fourth line, to be honest, because they want to break up the chemistry of the Coyotes line. So, all right, this is what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to put Hovnov there as our fourth line center. So he does have, like I said, 87 faceoffs. He's going to play with Kraus and Gallagher. So everybody has at least a plus one. That is fantastic to see. I'm actually going to see where I can put it if there's any, anywhere in the special teams. Maybe the penalty kill. He could be your second penalty killer. I just want to see what his uh, defensive stats are. Defensive stats aren't great, so I'm just going to leave it as is. He's going to be on our fourth line. I think that works well for us. We have two seconds from the wall, which is big. Seven and six loss against the Panthers. And then a 4-3 loss. We lose back-to-back -back games against Florida, which is rough. <sighs> Got to bounce back here. 3-2 OT win. Josh Hosang, a first and a second. I'm wondering what his rating is if they want a first. He's 85 overall at 30. 5.9 for one more year. Decent year, 18 points in 28 games. 
Uh, let's see, with Finn or Ford line two, our top six is pretty stacked already. Ho Sang would really have no place there. Back to back 3 2 OT wins. Wow. Gets the Flyers in the lease. A big shout out 3 0. We have 41 points. We're six points ahead of second in division. 43 points. Boys are on fire. 20 wins before 10 regulation losses. And that's number 21. We have won five games in a row, six wins in a row. Wow, let's keep the streak going against the Blue Jackets. Can we make it seven? It's taking a while to low. No, shootout loss. But still, we have points in uh, seven straight games, points in eight straight games. Make it nine. That's an OT loss. Can we make it ten? No, points in nine straight. We lose in regulation against the Penguins. A couple of wins there against the Hurricanes and the Sharks. We're 25, 10, and 5. We're doing extremely well at the start of the new year. Caulfield has 32 goals in 40 games. The guy is absolutely crazy. 49 points. Yunela 44 with 22 goals. Wright has 33 assists and Wong has 34. They just passed the puck. Dry settle there with 40 points. Uh, we have five guys with a point per game. That's fantastic. The team is doing really well. We're going to just see quickly how uh, Havanov is doing since he came into the team. Uh, he has three points in 14 games. I mean, he's on the fourth line. Uh, I wanted him more because I'm a fan of him in real life more than anything. 22, 8, and 4, and 1 for uh, Sasanov. So he's doing very good. Still listed as 88. Lapointe, 3 2 and 1. So, I mean, he's doing the job as a backup over a 500 record. All right, playing against Alexander Hovanov's former team, the Minnesota Wild. Minnesota's playing in Montreal, so it's not in Minnesota, the game. Hopefully, Hovanov can get a goal on the four line after one. Axel Anderson, it's not Hovanov, but it's another Moncton Wildcat. Then Marco Unala and Mrazic, pre number two. Unala gets another one, and Philippe Dano. After three, we win four to one. Kapanen gets one on Samson off, but a big win four to one. We've had a tremendous last month. Uh, starting off, uh, Feb we started off December pretty rough, but after that, we won a bunch of games. Starting off January with a win against the Wild. Hopefully, we can keep it going and assimilate up to uh, the start of February, the end of the All Star break. And uh, I want to see 30 wins before 15 regulation losses. That's uh, There's 27. Three more to go. A couple of games out west here against the Canucks, the Knights, and the Kings. We beat both of them 5-1. to one. 10 goals in two games. Team is scoring like crazy. And we get off for Tory Krug. Wow. For a Captain Gallagher in the first. All right. So he's no longer in Boston. He's out in the Blues. 24 points in 44 games. He's a minus 9, but he's an 88 overall at 35. 8.5 million uh, for two more years. Gallagher has 4.9 remaining on two years. I would love to have Tory Krug, but uh, I gotta say no. At first, and our captain. Again, our top four defense is very good. We're doing extremely good. 30, 10, and 5. So don't really want to make a big move like that while the team is winning. Uh, so we actually won a bunch of games in a row. So yeah, won eight in a row, nine of our last 10 games. The team is, I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if we can be stopped at this point. 32, 11, and five. Uh, I'm just hoping to see 35 wins before 15 regulation losses. That would be pretty cool as well. Another win against the Ducks. We have 33 wins right now. Two firsts and a prospect for Soderstrom. Again, I can't really give up uh, one of our top defensemen uh, and no defenseman roster player in return. 2 nothing against the Flyers. We win that game. Can we win against the Sabres? It is a shootout loss. Going to simulate up to uh, the Vancouver game. See if we can get that 35th win of the year. Hopefully, we can reach even 50. That would be pretty crazy to have 50 wins. We lose against the Lightning, so we are 34-12-6. Let's get a big win against uh, Elias Pedersen. No, we lose again. Wow, the team has lost uh, three games in a row. Not often you see that this year. All right, let's turn it around. We got to get a big win against the Winnipeg Jets, an all-Canadian matchup in Winnipeg. Dante Fabro is listed as elite for Cole Caulfield and our captain. I just want to see what his rating is here. 88 overall. 
Uh, 8.7 for five more years. They want Caulfield and Gallagher. Nashville, no, 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 no. I'm not making that trade. Uh, the Wild have fired their head coach, Wilson Fox. We lost four games in a row, guys. This is not going good. Uh, hopefully, we can win against the Capitals and the Sabres. I want to bounce back. Show me a win. There it is. 35 wins before 15 regulation losses. There you go. So we're 35, 14, and 6. I believe we're still first in the division. Uh, yeah, 78 points. We have a comfortable cushion. We're 7 wins ahead, like 12 points ahead of second place. So I think I'm comfortable with simulating up to the trade deadline. Just want to see if there's any more trades that come our way. I don't think I'm going to make any move because the team is playing so good. I don't want to break up any chemistry. I don't want to break up the momentum. Anthony Duclad and uh, Pilot go to Columbus for Ikonin and Hronik. Uh, it's a trade right there from the AI. So the Vegas Golden Knights get a first and a prospect for Sandheim and a couple of thirds. So a big trade right there. And Victor Mete, former Montreal Canadian, goes to Minnesota for former Montreal Canadian Antoine Marant, who we traded in part of that uh, Hovenov deal. So actually swap for it. So it's basically one for one that trade. 4 1 win against the uh, Carolina Hurricanes there. Uh, a lot of trades coming in, but nothing that's really interesting. I'm uh, not going to make a trade unless it really improves the team now. Like, even trading for picks, we're in a win-now mode. So, I don't really want to give up um, the team right now for picks in the future. So, Foot goes to Arizona with Sorelli for Zaka. Uh, ben Stream in the second. Shootout loss against the Coyotes. A couple of shootout losses in a row. We actually had three shootout losses in, a, in a basically two weeks, but we still get three points out of those, which is good. Uh, Lai Sanderson and Dominic Cahoon to Columbus, 86 and 84, for Zach Wierenski to the Penguins and McKay. So it has a very big trade. Zach Wierenski going to the Penguins after we just beat them. This guy here, Jacob Holmes, he's listed as a medium top six potential, 77 overall at 23. I'm going to get this guy for HL team. Jacob Holmes, welcome to the squad. So taking a look at the team at the trade deadline and Caulfield has 42 goals in 62 games. He has 20 games to get 8 goals. He's going to get 50 guys. 66 points. Unbelievable year for the kid. Hopefully the rest of the team is producing as well. Yunala 33 goals. Dreisel 25. Uh, Yunala is over a point per game there. Right with 59. KK with 57. Wong and Domi. Garland with 30 points. There you go. Cross with 30 as well. Bouchard plus 28. There you go. Love to see that. One of our better defensive defensemen. Then goaltending here. Sazanov 32, 13, and 7 with 4 shutouts. 950 save percentage and a 249 goals against. Lapointe 6, 2, and 2. Our goaltending is extremely good. I love to see that. 85 points. We're actually 10 points ahead of second in the division. Although only one win uh, more than the Panthers. But look in the OT losses. We have nine. They have one. So that's nine extra points that we got in an extra frame. So that that is very important for us. All those games we lost in the shootout or OT. Uh, it really, really matters at the end of the year. So I'm going to put uh, Holmes here. Uh, so one of our defensemen in Laval, Jacob Holmes. Honestly, I'm probably going to put him on the first pairing there. Uh, we can move him there. Gives a plus three to pairing number two. All right, I think we're good to go. Jacob Holmes, 6'2", 205 pounds. He's actually, he was a fourth round pick. Look at those puck scales. 90 and 92 for a defenseman. 96 shot power, 87 speed. This kid is a stud, 23 years old, 77 overall. He might make the NHL next year. I mean, why did he go on waivers? I don't know. That was a chance to take for that team. I believe it was the Penguins HL team, if I'm not mistaken. Probably put him on waivers, go to the AHL, and then we had to claim him. I could not pass out. I could not pass up on a free defenseman like that. So we're not going to make any trades. The team is just absolutely on fire gonna sum it up to the Bruins game the last couple of games of the year it's gonna go by quicker simulation now with no trades coming in seven and one win against the Red Wings that's how you bounce back of a loss six and nothing against the Devils it's five to two against the Devils so we scored 13 goals in two games 10 goals in the next two we're 42 17 and 10 7 and 2 against the blues one nothing against the lightnings so we score seven in a game and we score one in the next one 
Can we get 50 wins before 20 regulation losses? 7-1 against the Coyotes. 5-0 against the Flames. The Montreal Canadiens are the hottest team in the NHL. I don't want to hear otherwise. 6-0. Man, we can't score less than 5 goals when we win a game. 50 wins before 20 regulation losses. Caulfield, did he hit that 50 mark? He did. 52 goals. So Caulfield has 52 goals. Unila is looking for number 40. I have a couple of guys that are looking to end the year a point per game. That is fantastic. Connor Garland, 39 points. Uh, so yeah, we have 92 uh, overall Caulfield just dominating. We actually have 110 points. We're 16 points ahead of second in the division. Although the Capitals have 117 points. So it looks like they're winning the President's Trophy. But we don't have to worry about winning the division because we're way ahead. I'm just going to simulate the last uh, three games quickly. Can we end off in a good note? 4-2 win against the Bruins. A 4-1 loss against the Hurricanes. But a 4-1 win against the Chicago Blackhawks. And Caulfield ends up with 90 points. 54 goals. 114 points in the year. 17 points ahead of second place. 52 wins. Capitals with 56 wins. 119 points. So we finish second in the NHL. Second in the conference. First in the division. An extremely good year for the Montreal Canadiens. I'm hoping, please, that we can get a Stanley Cup. 35 goals for Dry Saddle, 82 points. A couple of guys for a point per game. Unala, 41 goals. He reached 40 mark once again. I believe that's the second time he gets 40 goals. Yeah, second straight year with 40 goals for Marco Unala. A uh, couple of guys were almost a point per game there. Cut Kanimi, 24 goals, right? And Domi and Garland, all those guys have a lot of assists. Kraus, Bouchard was a plus 32 for us. There you go. Anderson, 19 points, a plus 19. Hovnov ended up with 14 points. Goaltending here, Sazanov, 42, 17, and 8 with 8 shutouts. He might win the Vesta Trophy. Wow. I'm going to take a look at the entire NHL quickly, just compare the rest of the guys here. So, for the entire league. Uh, McKinnon wins Yard Ross, 97 points and 57 goals. Matthews shares Yard Ross with him, 97. Ma Marner there, Huberto, uh, Sprong, wow, Daniel Sprong, 87 overall. Then Lundstrom, 93 points. Kalanos, 82, so a couple of Anaheim Ducks in a row. Jake Getzel with 91. Caulfield there with 90. Hughes, uh, Sveshnikov, Eichel, Teravine, and Lundell. A lot of the big names of the NHL have now retired, but uh, there's still a, a lot of good young talent from this year this year's game. So looking at the goals here, 57 for McKinnon. So Caulfield was tied with Kalanos for a second. He will not have a uh, Rocket Richard Trophy. Unala there, so yeah, two guys in the top six, which is fantastic. Take a look at defensemen now. Romanov, 65 points, uh, 11 plus 11, so... 90 overall. I'm very happy. I'm happy Romanov is uh, succeeding. Dry Settle is succeeding with us. So it was a good trade for both teams. Makar and Hughes with big years there. Eric Cross is still playing. Hannafin, Ekman, Larson, Boquist, McAvoy. All right. Take a look now at goaltender. See how good Sasanov did compared to the other guys. And the two top guys are Samsonovs. Ilya and Marcus. There you go. Uh, very similar stats, very similar records. So we'll see who wins the uh, Viz at the end of the year. Our Sasanov had more shutouts, had better stats. Only difference, uh, Ilya had three wins more in, in four games less. We'll see what happens there. Uh, Caden Primo, I'd love to see him succeed as well in Florida. There you go. Taking a look at rookie skaters now. And uh, Pavel Vorobek there with 60 points. That'll call. Uh, Klaus, Finoganov, Trinkovic, I'm not sure I pronounced that. It's a look at your rookie skaters, rookie goaltenders, see if there's anything crazy. Uh, nothing too crazy. I mean, Banks playing the most games there at 70 was uh, 30 and 33. So he was uh, just under 500. There's that plan. Our backup, 10, 3, and 2. All right, before we end off the episode, we got to check out who we're playing. I think it's going to be a team from the Metro. No, it might be the Maple Leafs, actually. So we're playing the Philadelphia Flyers in round number one. It's going to be a matchup against Philly. 
Let's take a quick look at their lineup. What it's looking like. Holanos is 95 overall at 21. He's a medium franchise player. Uh, 28 points in 20 playoff games in his career. Uh, take a look now at Philly, the Broad Street Bullies. They have Jonathan Drouin, so it's going to be, of course, the return of Jonathan Drouin to Montreal. Couturier and Bellows, Atkinson, Zachary Lurie, Zenishin, Farabi, Patrick O'Sullivan, Puyarvi, Russ, and Woods. So honestly, not a great team. A lot of low 80s and 70 overalls. I mean, their top line, 88, 83, and 83. Our entire top six is 90 plus overall. So we should, honestly, on paper, we should dominate, but you never know with the simulation. Pro Rob and Ghosts Bear there, their top pairing with Lucas Johansson. After that, it drops down. Gresslick, Shankirk, and Ginning. Interested to see if they still have Carter Hart. 90 overall Carter Hart in goal. That is going to be a problem, guys. That is going to be the one thing that may keep us from winning the Flyers is Carter Hart. 90 overall but that'll be the next episode hope you guys enjoyed do leave a like if you did i would appreciate it subscribe if you are new until next time thank you for watching and as always have a great day